to all y'all out there that got people coming home from prison after doing long bits. You got to be very, very, very cautious. I know you like, oh man, it's my family, or oh, I know this person. This is just... No, you don't. After five years, you don't know who that person become in prison. After 10 years, you don't know who they become. Definitely after 20. You got to understand that's not a normal environment. And when you're in there that long, things is not normal out here are normal in there. That's why people have a hard time coming home in Justin. They've been in an environment in the spot where they get praise and glory for spilling blood. Oh, you're a real stepper. Get a lot of respect. Easy to hustle. Able to do everything right inside that facility, right? So they come back out here and they do some of the same things. Females, people going to be like, man, they're crazy. But you was just in an environment where this was acceptable. It's like being in the Navy. You hit a guy from 100 yards. It's great. We doing this for the government. You come home and, and be militant. They gonna look at you like, what? People not saying thank you for your services. You not getting notoriety for what you done. You like, man, what? It's an adjustment. Right here on my page, you can see it unfold, the adjustments. You can see it in them. Being this close to somebody and my cousin, Barry Bay, being this close to him this soon, I've never been around anybody that's been down that long. So I had to be a lot more patient. But this whole video was about this, right? Things to watch out for when people come home. And I'm not specifically talking about him, I'm just talking about period. Because I've seen it many times in institutionalized people. You know, maybe just the closest I've ever been to somebody, but I've been around them a whole lot. Especially being a woman, you have to take note in details of their anger. Anger in there, it's damn near always warranted. It's acceptable to everybody except the staff, but the staff understand what environment they're in. If your man come home and he got all his underwear and socks color coordinated, and you misplace any you 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 move anything, you misplace anything. Look at what his reaction is to it, please. Look at what his reaction is to it. Take a hat of his that he like. Take it off the table, set it on the chair. See what his reaction is. If he get weirded out by it, say something about it, you're dealing with an institutionalized person. Confronting them with problems. They get mad, shut down, run off, get extra. You got to watch that because it could go very bad for you. At any time, they could revert. At any time. I had a cousin, another cousin, Bob Bay. If you misplace something, like if, if you put something back where it's not supposed to be, he'll know exactly the salt was supposed to be on the left side, not the right side in the cabinet. Can you not do that? And be weirded out by it and irritated for a while about it. Like, bro, you moved my shower towel off the rack while, while I was trying to close the curtain. And I didn't want the towel to get wet. Yeah, still, though, man. Don't leave your children around people that just got to prison for a long time. You don't know what that environment made. You don't know that person anymore. He might have went in normal, became a a, 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 a a booty warrior in prison. And that's what he lived by. So now, you know, that little that little that little that little child might be looking scrum de Leon. You never know. You don't leave your children around somebody because you never know what they might do. They might misplace his stuff. They might put his hat on the ground. Uh uh uh. They might move his towel. They might make a mistake and use his toothbrush, so on and so forth. And you never know how they might snap about it. So I would never leave my child. I mean, anybody could snap, 
But I would never leave my child around nobody who who done a, a long, long time in prison. You have to be careful about who you're dealing with. Y'all go look at some of my old videos where I told you, God come home, he's straight for a minute. Then he take Todd and her or the kids while the woman watch, and she don't even know why he did it. Insecurities. Who knows? Got to be careful. I promise you that. You have to be careful. I just had an incident, right? My cousin talking positive, 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 positive. Just, just happened. Bird, a bird, a uh, bay. Talking positive, real positive. Get a call from my cousin, my cousin, my other cousin, Adrian. He say some, some stupid. Oh, I want to punch in her face. He punched the window. The f what? Why would you punch the window with a guy who put, making this happen for you, helping you, bring you around pe other people to help you? Snap just like that. Went from articulating itself well. It's all good. To... I told him. He see this video. You know what it is. I told him, bro. You can't be doing that. One, it's it's my window. Second, it's already tight enough helping you. Now you gonna make me spend some money on a window? Third, I. I don't want to feel like you really dis because I would hate to get out here and have to fight you. Because at the end of the day, two, I told him, you've been in prison for murder. And before this, let's let's go back. You firebombed a store with people in it. Before this, you got bodies under your belt. So you got the bodies under your belt. You got the firebombing. You got the the uh, the murder you got caught for prison, twenty seven years and was extremely violent. Start, staff assault, prisoner assault, it didn't matter. Real stump down. Guy, homie, when you get mad, I feel a different type of way. It's not like the regular person on the street getting mad. It's not like somebody at your job getting mad at you. Oh man, you need to hurry up. All right, man, we go in the parking lot. Shut up. We go in the bathroom. Get it over with. Or just shut up, man. I ain't gonna do nothing. Keep. You're not a regular person, homie. And 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 if you've never been to prison, you probably or been around people that been institutionalized or, or been in, you probably won't get what I'm saying. You'll be like, oh, they just went to prison for a long time. It's 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 nothing. You just you, you, you stupid. I went to prison four years, and I'm I was way more violent than I ever was. To this day, I got it in me, and it could come out anytime. Because I've been around them boys that specialized and got 23, 24 hours in a room a day to sit up and think about how treacherous and dangerous they could be. I hope you understand me. So I, I told my baby, look, you can't be doing that. Because you made me feel any type of way. I got to cut you off. I ain't about to be, look, I ain't about to be dead in the parking lot and they don't know what happened to them. Got to watch. Another thing, when a guy come home from prison, watch his eyes. When women walk past, when children walk past, just watch. Is it the regular or is it the, like he about to go into battle mode. Like he about to just, hey, I'm a soccer in her mother. She don't give me her number and I'll take it in and call her and make her go on a date with me. You feel me? You got that look too. Gotta be very careful. Ask them what they want to eat too. You'll see where they mind stay there. But I say I have to say this. Be careful. That's it. Just be very careful. When you're dealing with people that have been in prison a long time. Peace and blessings.